Hi, my name is Sarah Smoot, and I'll show you how to play the intro to I'd Love to Change the World by 10 Years After. First, I'll show you the five chords that you need to know. The first chord is an E minor. You want your middle finger on the second fret of the A string. Your ring finger on the second fret of the D string. Then for the G chord, you want your ring finger on the third fret on the low E string. Your middle finger on the second fret of the A string. And your pinky on the third fret on the high E string. On the A minor, you want your middle finger on the second fret on the D string. Your ring finger on the second fret on the G string. And your index finger on the first fret on the B string. On the C chord, you want your ring finger on the third fret on the A string. Your middle finger on the second fret on the D string. And your index finger on the first fret on the B string. On the last chord, the B7, you want your middle finger on the second fret of the A string. Your index finger on the first fret of the D string. And your ring finger on the second fret of the G string and your pinky on the second fret of the high E string. For the finger picking, we will use the standard string numbering. Low E6, A5, D4, G3, B2, and the high E1. This next part is the intro and is played twice before the first verse. In the E minor position, play strings 6, 5, 4, and 3. Then play three notes on the low E string. Open E, 1st fret F, 2nd fret F sharp. Then change to the G chord position. Play strings 6, 5, 4, 3, 1, 3, 2, 3, 6. Now change to the A minor chord position. Play strings 5, 4, 3, and 2. Now play three notes on the A string. Open A. 1st fret A sharp. 2nd fret B. Now change to the C chord position. Play strings 5, 4, 3, 2, 3. Now change to the last chord, B7, and play strings 5, 4, 3, and 2. The timing of this song is 4-4. Four, four. Each note is an eighth note played with no rests. When you listen to the song, you may expect each chord to begin at the beginning of each measure, but that's not the case. Watch for the C and G chords when I count 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and. That last and is when you change for those two chords. The B7 comes in on the third count of the fourth measure. 1 and 2. Since the verse uses the same chords in the same order, I'll show you how to strum them. Through the song, it really just alternates between those parts. Thanks for watching my video!